There was a bad man in Lawton, Oklahoma. He got arrested and was sent to prison. Hold on, this story gets better. He served his time and was finally released from jail. Well, nobody showed up to drive him home. Probably because he was a complete monster to everyone in his life. So he started walking. My best guess is that he walked all the way to Love's Travel Stop on Interstate 10. He was looking for a ride, but he couldn't find one. So he stole a ride. But hold on, this story gets better. He didn't steal a car. He stole 10 cars. <laughs> what? All right, this guy only needed a car to get away. Why steal 10 cars? How did he steal 10 cars? Well, this dumbass, he stole a whole truck loaded with 10 brand new Corvettes. Yeah, the truck was worth about $1.25 million. This must be one of the dumbest people on the planet. Okay, I get it. You needed a ride. Perhaps did you consider hitchhiking? Rideshare? Bicycle? Okay, seriously, this is a bad person. But did he even consider finding a POS, old truck, or a beater? Something you can easily hotwire. Or a Kia. I hear they're pretty easy to borrow. Now, this is a guy with no impulse control and even less brains. He decided to steal an 18-wheeler loaded with brand new sports cars. Hey, way to blend in. Oh, yeah, you blend. Everyone knows these trucks have GPS trackers, and they're easy to follow when they go missing. Plus, okay, now they've realized the truck is missing. This giant 18-wheeler full of cars isn't going to outrun any police. Okay, this is probably the worst escape vehicle anyone could choose. I'm literally trying to think of a worse vehicle. Maybe a cement mixer? Maybe a golf cart? What a dumbass. Okay, so this guy gets out of prison, and the very first thing he does is steal a car and commit more crimes. I don't think the rehabilitation is working. Now this guy's gonna be a lifelong criminal. He's only 23 years old. What does society do with someone like this? Do we have to pay for his entire life to keep him in a small box? At what point do we just give up and take him off the grid? Is there any way a person like this can be a non-destructive part of society? I was a little curious, so I looked up his recent arrest. What got him in jail in the first place? Maybe. Okay, maybe he was a wrong place, wrong time kind of situation. Maybe he got caught with a little bag of weed and did something stupid. Whoa, nope, way wrong. Assault and or battery with a dangerous weapon, felony. Larceny from the house, felony. Okay, got it. He's just the worst. Anyway, while driving this giant truck with 10 Corvettes on it, he was somehow unable to escape from the police. During his attempted escape, he was trying to push other cars off the road. But he failed at that, too. I mean, this guy isn't good at anything. He turned down a dirt road and was eventually stopped by a bunch of police. Hey, he's back in jail. He's probably going to be there for a long time. I hope he enjoyed his several hours of freedom. Totally worth it. So what happened to all the cars? All 10 Corvettes? Completely fine. No damage at all. They were only slightly delayed and they're back on their way to the customers. So this guy accomplished nothing. He didn't get home, he didn't really steal a car, and went straight back to jail. What a big day he's having. The worst part about this story is that this senseless type of crime is just gonna get worse. I fear it's a combination of criminals getting dumber because of the public education system and the justice system getting weaker because of corrupt DAs and Democrat policies. I don't want to believe that everyone is a criminal and it's hopeless, but this one guy might just be ahead of the curve and he realizes that the future is pointless, at least his future is, and he just threw the rule book out the window. The only problem is he's just too stupid to do anything about it. All right, that's enough about this guy. Come back tomorrow. I'll try to find some more dumb stuff online to talk about.